All right, let's see what is going on. Let me see, my cam, what are you doing? Oh, my cam, what's happened to you? Let's do launch pad, photo booth. I'll turn you back on. Or not. What's up, SoundCloud? This is Kaylani. From first play to first platinum, find your fans first on SoundCloud. What are you waiting for? Let's Start see. uploading today. What's going on with you? There we go. I 
think we are starting it up. Oh, man. Let's do this. How do you guys like this shirt, huh? Lakeside Amusement Park for all the Silent Hill fans out there. That's what I'm talking about. My windows lined up. And what did we do yesterday? Yesterday we worked on level design. I say let's keep going with this. Um, just for you guys tuning in, yesterday what we did was we actually butchered our entire level. Um, we wanted to try to create a different type of flow for this. So we're going to put moving platforms right here. And then we get to this section right here. There'll be a moving platform as well. And there'll be like a death pit at this point. And then over here, we start entering into this like, um, like castle kind of environment. And then uh, the player has two options. They can jump down or actually jump across and climb up this, which then they'll hit these like moving platforms. Or, if they manage to miss and fall down, there's going to be this moving platform here on the bottom. And if they make it, uh, they'll live. If not, they'll hit the spikes. If they move to the left side, they'll collect a treasure chest over here. And then they can work their way up this area to eventually get to the top up here. So, what I want to focus on is let's go ahead and fix the rest of this area over here make sure it's uh, uh, usable so let's go ahead and grab our tile map and if you're new to this we're gonna be using tile map to kind of finish out all the uh, you know, uh, the environmental stuff let me bring this down just a smidge there we go and then uh, <coughs> You know, we'll take it from there. And we'll leave that a good on audio right there. Good. So now we got a little bit of music in our background. Be able to listen to something while still hearing me. So we're all good. All right. So how are we going to use this? Uh, let's use our tile map brush. And I'm thinking we'll create our edges. I say right here. And if you hold shift, you can actually delete while you have your brush held. And then um, we're going to run more of this right here. We're going to get our kind of angled platform. Let's go ahead and fill this stuff in real quick. And then let's make a, a jumpable platform. Let's put this one right there. Um, let's see, I want this right there. No, this right there. And then if you hold control over uh, anything with the brush, it'll actually copy over. And then if we hold shift, we can actually just select this and duplicate that. So it's a much faster way of building out levels. Let's see, we got this edge over here. I'm just gonna take this stuff right here, I think. I'm gonna throw that right there. And then, um, let's go ahead and throw this right here. 
You can see how fast this goes if you do the uh, the hotkeys, the shift, control, or the command. And let's see. I think we should probably take this and move this right here. And then we'll set these here. That part looks good, right? I like that. faster um, let's see I'm wondering if I should put this like that you know I think that would look better Looks good. First play to first platinum. Find your fans first on SoundCloud. What are you waiting for? Start uploading today. All right. Now let's fill this area in. this up there do some more edging and then do do to do, do, do. Should we do? Let's go ahead and build this down like that. There we go. And we'll fill this in. This one, and we'll fill this all in right there. Nice, 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 nice. Hey, Al, what are we building today? 
from Chris Butler. We are finishing up. Well, <laughs> I'd like to say finishing up, but we're not close yet. Um, we are working on tile map, and we're going to try to uh, complete more of this level. Thank you for asking, sir. How are you doing, buddy? Jonathan's telling me I can find the moving platform in the DLG SDK folder. Oh, looky, looky. Oh, there's the platform. Okay. I will be applying that hopefully today. I say applying. I actually mean I'll be breaking that later on today, and I'll let you know if uh, you need to fix it. the rest of this thing out so let's see so you guys um, are probably noticing that it's a time-consuming process if you try to do it all by hand um, but I like to almost cheat a little bit if you hold the control button you can create this like blue outline and then you can move it along and so like let's say this area right here I just want to paste this in. It's kind of a, a quick way for me to cheat it. And then you hit control again, it deletes it. And then just use shift to go across. And then, let's see. <laughs> Break it so John can build it better. <laughs> oh, I'll find a way, you watch. this across and let's grab this thing right here boom and then we'll use shift and we'll delete those and we'll fill the rest in all right there we go that looked pretty easy, so let's go and delete this, and I'm just going to bring that over just a little bit further, so our player has the ability to jump up here. And I think this area might be just a little tight, so let me go ahead and grab this right here, and I'll bring this down just a little bit. So, our player has a little more headroom to clear here. And, uh, let's see. So we got some interesting pathways going on. Then I'm going to, let's grab... Uh, let's grab you. And I'll just paste you. Right here. So now the player jumps up here, and then they hop up there. Good. And then let me fill the rest of these blocks in real quickly.
So now we got both entrances here um, for our, well, we got our both our pathways. So we got the main pathway, and then we got this kind of secret hallway that we can jump into. Which will extend out the level, and will, it'll reward the player for uh, trying to test new things out. So let's see if we can go ahead and start setting this up. So we're just gonna go straight up here. Fuck, 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 fuck that What's up, SoundCloud? This is Kalani. From first play to first platinum, find your fans first on SoundCloud. And that what covers up to that area. And then we are going to put our edge over here. And then let's go ahead and set these platforms right here. Perfect. And then if I go ahead and block this area in right there and I'm just going to block this area like this I'm basically going to try to create a fill so I can go to my fill and just add the blocks into that And then add my fill into here. And now I'll put those blocks in there. And I can select off. That was easy work right there. All right. So let's see how our player navigates this. Let's go ahead and press play. Pretty good so far. All right, so there's no way he could reach that. So we're right here. So let's go ahead and adjust this. Um, let's go ahead and get our paintbrush. We'll fill that in right there. And then I'll set this down here. We'll erase this and erase that. So our player runs up here. And then, let's see. Should we add that? How will that play out? Let's test this. Okay, that was the area we just fixed, so that's good. Now we need to do something similar with this area. So, um, let's go ahead and grab our tool here. And we'll raise it up right there. We'll raise this up. We'll grab this. We'll fill those in. And I think that should work. I'm curious about something. Player... He's using a box collider. Right? Turn this off. Yes, he is. I'm curious. If we set him to... 
um, if I set him to a sphere collider or a cylinder, a cylinder collider, will that affect any of John's scripts? Because I don't know if he uses the player and he calls it a box collider or not. He probably does. We may need to switch that out from a box collider, though. Um, are you losing the jump sound occasionally? Um, I'm not losing the jump sound on um, uh, my live play right here. I think it's just a stream issue. Um, yeah, we have to switch that box collider out. Alright. Can I make it to the top here? Yes. We've made it to this area. Perfect. Alright. <laughs> so John says, what? Repeat? What? <laughs> Alright, John. Let me let me show this to you so you can see this. Um, so we have our game character who is using a box collider for his collision detection. But see when he hits these angles? He automatically assumes he's jumping because he is not grounded anymore. So we may need to figure out something so when our player hits these angles, he when he's static, he stands, and when he's running on it, he's not floating. a little closer in and then I'm gonna fill this goodness in may use the circle collider yeah exactly um, so John do you think um, any script is tied together with the box collider. Um, okay. I think that that as far as like level design, I think this is good. This is an interesting area. We have an interesting change of environment. I'm just going to grab this right here. I'm just going to slap that right there. The script isn't tied to a box glider. It just has a ray cast shooting from the center to its feet. Okay. this in use a fill tool all right and then let's go ahead and add this right here what's up soundcloud this is kalani from first play Oops. to first platinum find your fans first on soundcloud what are you uh, waiting for start see. uploading today nail that in So we have a little area right over here. Are those slopes on the grounded layer? Uh, yes, uh, John, they are on the floor layer. And are they on the grounded layer? I believe they are. Foreground, floor is ground. Yes. Okay. I like that. This is good. Uh, 
Okay, let me see. Alright. Assets. Moving platforms. Moving platform. Oops, let me get off of tile map. Let me go ahead and drop that in. Woohoo! Alright, platform is being one. Waypoints. A clear waypoint list. Okay. So we're going to. Wondering why uh, my tile map is still on. Let me see. Why is my tile map doing that? Turn off tile map scene mode. These, let's see, this is the active tile map that's currently on. So I want to turn off. Let's see, how do I turn off? If I turn the grid off, does it go away? No, my tile map remains. So what do I need to do to turn tile map off here? Hmm. So if I set this to one right here, all right, and then I open up this and I go to waypoint one, I can set this to like right here. Okay. And then in moving platform, I am going to remove a waypoint, remove a waypoint, clear waypoint lists. So add a waypoint one and add a two. All right, I'll just make sure I do that because I would rather stick to that. Okay. And then when my player comes up to this area, 
Then I want to add another moving platform. So let's go ahead and clear this out. One, two, waypoint one. Where'd you go? Oh, you're all the way over here. Okay. So this one goes up here. So I'm going to actually have this one go here, and it's going to come to this end. And then I'll create another platform. And this one will be right here. And this will go up. And we'll duplicate this one again. And then we'll do this final one. will then bring us up to this level and then we will have another platform where is this one moving platform four and then moving platform five will take us across this entire gap. All right, so let's give that a play in a world. All right. <clears throat> oh, actually, let me go ahead and move my character. Uh, let me go ahead and tidy this up. Create an empty game object. Moving platforms. And I'm going to set this up at the top. Yep, I'm an ad. Drop and those in the here. To so there we go. I'll clean that up. And then let's go ahead and take our character and our CM camera. And we'll move them right up here. So we can just start at this point. So he's going to fall a little bit, and he's going to land right where he needs to go. Nice. Oh, I missed that. Okay. So we land on our platform. So that was a huge jump right there. Same with... Ah, no! <laughs> All right. Um, I think there may be too big of a gap in these platforms. What I may do is add extra platforms, possibly. Maybe. Yeah. So our player can climb all the way up here, and he gets to the edge. He's like, yes, I won. I'll bring these roofs down a little more. We get a little treasure trove for him for being such a good sport. And then... He has to go to the right now. Perfect. Now what I may do, because 
this section is a little big is let's go ahead and let's chew some of this up two moss two moss we're doing good already we don't need to go crazy Right. I'll check out those sexy moving platforms. I'm telling you, those things are badass, dude. You gotta sell that. You should sell that on the Unity Asset Store for like $10. I kid you not. You will sell out. These things are amazing. Like, these are really, really freaking cool. I love them, dude. They, they work so well. All right, let's clear the waypoint list. Add two waypoints. I mean, they're so simplistic. They're so easy to visually see. Fantastic work, John. Fantastic. Wow. Wow. Like, that's so awesome. duplicate this one. We'll take it down here. Dude, stunning work, man. You see, when you align yourself with the best, you get the best stuff. So, yeah, make sure you always pick the best people to work with. Okay, we got that moving platform right there. And then we clear this out. Man, this this platform is disgustingly cool, dude. I am so impressed. Oof. All right. Ah, oh, time for a little coffee. It's only 3.40 in the afternoon. Mm. Okay. So, what I'm going to do here... That was so cool. Like, I, I still can't get over how cool these platforms are. We, we should just take a day. To really drink this in, how awesome those platforms are. Oh, man. Cartoon Network regrets ever losing you, dude. to now bring back our um, our kind of blackish kind of area so let's see do 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 Are 
erase all this stuff. We'll put some spike pits right down here. And then, um, let's see. This, what should we do here? Oh, let me think. Mm. What's up, SoundCloud? This is Kaylani. From first play to first platinum, find your fans first on SoundCloud. What are you waiting for? Start I think today. we should switch back to our kind of stonish platforming, right? do that and then I'm gonna grab this place this on the edge we'll set this right here actually we could probably leave this black put this on the floor to figure out something. I may have to do something that overlays this tile as kind of like a way to to hide that little connection issue. And then in the insta death what should we do? Let's see. So with this what I kind of want to do is bring this out to like a cave entrance and this leads to our water area so this dungeon has been partially submerged under this underwater this whole time which is why you see like the water falls coming down in the background I'm trying to be lore friendly here Bam, bam, whoops, where's the, uh, oh, there you are, there we are, absolutely buddy, you go to your meeting. keep making this black actually this is where we're gonna add our water so let me go ahead and fill this in right here kind of float down like this. Here, actually, let me delete this. We're going to have to draw this kind of out like that. Good. We'll fill this in. And then... Oh. All right. 
This looks pretty good. So if I take my player, so where are you? Player, CM follow cam. I'm gonna set him back up here. Go ahead and play. All right, so he runs across here and he runs to this, yeah. See, so now we're back in our cavern. Real easy transition. And this is where we reach our bridge. Okay, perfect. And in here, I'm actually going to take this down a little bit more. I want it to feel like he's coming out of a cavernous uh, entrance. So let's fill this in. It's our left side. This is our right side right there. Perfect. Yes! And, uh, let's see, what do we got to do now? Um, I may put... How should I overlay the water? I'll probably end up going over it, and I'll put like an insta-kill zone right underneath. That may be the best way to do it. Think about that in a little bit. Alright. So then we got our bridge. Let's see, how did we pull that off? Let's see, I know I have the sprites here. If I'm not mistaken, this was supposed to fit right here. Dungeon escape. Sprites, tiles, environments. What was it supposed to be? Actually, let me think about this more. I'm hoping I can just erase these. Edit. Think. Let me turn off my edit. Let me see this. Um, so these columns, let's take a look at these. Uh, da, 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 da. What's up, SoundCloud? This is Kaylani. Uh, let's From see. first play to first platinum, find your fans first on SoundCloud. What are you waiting for? Start now, if I do that, and then do this, these are different. I think I have this somewhere. Column arches. So I got those. Is that it though? I thought I had more. Let me see something. I know there was more. Hold on, let me think.
Hmm. Let me see if I can fix this in Photoshop, actually. Um, oh, uh, this is something I didn't show you guys. So, this is the ultimate guide to using Unity and Cinema 4D to create 3D art. This is going to be the cover. Um, it's coming together really well. Really well. Uh, everything's recorded. Everything is done. Um, just for reference, this character image right here, this is in Unity. Um, this is it in Cinema 4D. And you can see like normal, the AO, the polygon mode, and the uh, color texture mode. And, you know, really small um, uh, as far as uh, game object size goes. So, yeah, it came together really well. Just uh, trying to get the fine, fine ugh, finishing touches on that, and that should be released soon. Um, it's got to come out before August. I think it's... We're in June. I think it'll be done before the end of June, honestly. I, I'm pretty confident of that. Um, so let's see. Uh, do, 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 do. What I'm trying to do right now Nope, don't have anything like that. Oh, interesting. What did I do then? Did I like... Hmm. Let me fix this right now. Alright. Uh, reveal in Finder. Let's go to Photoshop. Let's go to our slice tool. We'll create a slice. And we will divide the slice. Four by four. Alright. And then, I'm going to... Copy this section. Bring this down. And then I am going to see, I got a smudge tool here. Where are you? All right. No, that's not gonna work. Let's go ahead and copy this. Paste it. Let's flip it upside down. All right. Actually, let's not flip it upside down. Okay. Now let's get in here real close and see what we can do. Good. We'll do a mask. And then in here I'll do another mask as well. So we can go ahead and hide that. Okay, now I'm going to merge these, beautiful, duplicate, and where's the flip, image, there, transform, adjust,
flip horizontal. Ah, not flip canvas. Image layer. try to be super precise, but I guess not. Not today. Alright. So we got that column going down. That's going to go into the water. So let's duplicate this. And we'll have these fade out at the bottom. So I'm going to create a layer mask. Just kind of paint over. Oops. Paint over you. There we go. There we are. Good. So that will fade out on the bottom right there, which will look good. All right. What else do I need to add? So if it goes up on the other side, it needs the rough. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it comes up, hangs over here. So let me go ahead and duplicate this right here. And in here, I'm going to go grab my paintbrush and all right. So we know we're going to hit this edge right here. in so we can paint that for? start uploading today oops let me bring my flow down a little bit all right so that way when the bridge arches it has something to it's not a flat surface that it's hitting it's kind of arched upwards and then I can duplicate this. And then I'm going to take this, flip it. I'm going to take a look and make sure these pixels are right in line. Good, good, good. All right, let me go ahead and save that um, as a PNG. It'll be a copy, copy. No, just a copy. The place. And then we'll go back to Unity, and it is going to think about this for a second. And then I want to, in my sprite editor, make sure that it does. I think these are 256. Slice them all. Apply, and I should have a bunch more in here. 
I didn't get that. So let's see. Uh, slice. Automatic. Slice. Now, slice. Cell size. Slice. That gives me 16 of them. Apply. Yes, there's 16 right there. So this little thing right here, I am going to fill it in with this new one. And we're going to go to Dungeon Escape, Sprites, Tiles, Environment, Columns Arches, we'll Choose, Overwrite. We are good. Boom, there you go. So we'll save that. And then I'm going to just uh, do a quick erase on these. And then I can paint in, let's say, this one right there. And then I can paint this in. And I'll just paint this over and over and over again until we hit the fade out one, right? And then this should not be nothing more than the columns. And then over here I got this kind of like um, jagged edge one right there, right? So let's see. one was it uh, there we go and then we'll knock this in here and we'll do the same thing on this side Alright, so there's our um, call the bridge that we have that's like semi destroyed. So we'll use this uh, to make those bridge gap jumps, which is kind of cool. So we got one there. So we can easily just um, select this whole thing and we can paint it again. And maybe on this one we will um, let's see let's connect these right so this would connect like that and this would connect like that and then I can select this there we go. And then we'll select this again. Now we could put a regular gap. I think uh, I think that'll be okay. We put one more gap. And then I think we are going to have the place where we have our boss battle. So going to select these very cool so here's where we'll have our big boss battle yes yes all right and then I'm just gonna clean up a little bit you know if I'm not gonna see it there's no reason in painting it. Like this area right here. Oops. Doo -doo -doo. Let's trim it all out. This area down here, it's really just a lot of extra.
good stuff. Cool. Well, that's a cool looking level right there. All right. If I do say so myself. Uh, let's grab some more black blocks. get to this area, we fight our big boss, and the level. Okay. So now, I need to test this out. Make sure that I can actually jump across these. So let's get our player. I'll have him start right there. Eh, out of coffee. Running across. I'm going to slide down. Oh, I want to fix that overhead area. Now this gets us to our nice little cavern. It's really tight. And then we get to our jumping. Ooh, look at that right there. we got to fix that. Otherwise, people will be able to just... Well, they should be able to just land on it. Where are you? Oh, I know where you are. Um, let's see, you're not in this one, you are in, what's up SoundCloud, this is Kehlani, from first play to first platinum, find your fans first on SoundCloud. What are you waiting for? Start uploading today. And you're right here. you perfectly and you sit right there. There we go. So this is saved. Go back here. You should clean up in two seconds. Clean that bottom area up. Oops. Fuck you. What is this? Go away. Let's go ahead and hit play. And we'll go back to Unity. And let's see if you clean up. Yep, all clean. Good, good, good. All right, press play again. Player jump back. Yes, he can. All right. One. Kind of a big area right here. Then we jump right here. This is where we'll fight our main boss and whoop him, and then we'll end the level. Yes! All right. Woohoo! Okay, so let's see. Uh, one of the things I didn't like 
was right here. This stuff was way too high. Kind of want to bring this down a little bit. So I'm just going to grab all this goodness and bring it down to here. And then I also want to maybe bring this down. Let's see. Right there. There we go. I think that looks cool. <clears throat> okay, let's hit save. Let's press play. Nice. Oh, that's so cool. Perfect. Yes, this is all filled in. Oh, man, what a long process. So, like, the instant death. Um, let's go ahead and add those instant death brushes in. We got those there. Uh, yeah. We got to make sure we set this on our instant death floor. So we'll set those there. Those are set right. There's no instant death over here. We're all good here. So we just need to add this there. And then we should probably add in our animated tiles our water. hit that we've died and then let's see I don't think there's any other instant death areas that I have to concern myself with so <clears throat> let's see what else is there to do well we gotta add um, foreground elements right so let's go to tile map. So you see as we turn these on, you could see like the foreground elements being created, right? Um, so we can just delete those, what we currently have that we don't like. Some of this we got, we like. Um, other ones, eh, not so much. Uh, let's clean that up. This needs to go. Okay. We'll delete that. Okay. So then I can go back to my environment. And, you know, we can go back to adding things. <coughs> different stream we can go on. Let's get some different music in here. There we go. Something less crazy. Um, all right. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's go ahead and... 
Should we add foreground elements or should we add vegetation? Huh. Let's do foreground elements. Let's just knock these out. So. Now if I select these and I set these to like a two, I can actually adjust its position as a foreground element. And then let me select this one and I'll move the position to like right there. And then I'll select this one right here. And we can adjust the positioning. So let's say right there. What is that? Goodbye. Oh, that's good. Oh, yeah. Those are the boxes. Uh, let's increase you to two. Just you. Oops. On the position tab. Uh, okay. Alright. And then I think I'm going to drop this box right here there we go oh no I want the box right there and then I'm going to select this box and set it to like a 3 and I'm going to move its position up so let's say right there guys in. Let's set these to... Oops. That changed the whole tile map. I just want to change this one. Pretty easy. So let's see. Where can I add a bunch of these? So I'm just going to start uh, dropping them in. So I'll put you here, you here, you'll be right here, and then you'll go right there, there, there. Okay, and then I'll select all of you. One. Oh, I can't just duplicate you? Oh. You know, I maybe I'll be able to do this. Oh, if this works, it's going to be really cool. Seven, eight, nine. If I can select you, can I? Ah, look at that. That's cool. Oops. And I'll grab this big box right here. Where is it? Um, ah, there you go. Thank you. 
Very cool. And then, uh, let me see if this looks good. I'm gonna grab my player. And I'm gonna have him start right here. He's maybe a little big. Are they too big? I don't know. Too big. All right, then let me go grab these barrels, and I'm actually going to just—I have a, a barrel somewhere here, right? Yes. I'm just going to grab that and paste this right here. No. No, not actually there. There. Now, I'm going to select this tile. I'm going to move its position up to where it's perfect. Then, I'm going to copy this one. Let's just start laying them in. Very cool. And then what else do I have? I have these barrels right here, which I'll paste in. And then um, let me actually delete that. I'm going to take these barrels and paste these on here. And let's go ahead and select this active tile map, set this to Two, two, two. What's up, SoundCloud? Right? This is Kaylani. And then for we'll move our position title, up find your fans just a little bit SoundCloud. like that. What are you waiting for? Start uploading today. And then I will duplicate these. Very cool. All right. So now with those laid in, uh, what else can I do? Let me go ahead and grab this cannon. Position-wise, I'll set it right there. And then I'm just going to grab this. You just set this in like a couple small locations. There we go. Very cool. So that's the foreground elements. Okay. And let me think of something. I believe these foreground elements sit over all the other stuff. So we should probably, for the sake of optimization, make that work as well. Um, yeah, let's go ahead. Oh, actually, that's in the background. Let's see what I can do. 
I'm curious. If I were to, let's say, paint this in right here. Actually, let me paint this in. And I set this particular tile to, let's say, 3 by 3 by 3 And that will hide that right there. Kind of see if that looks good or not. Interesting question. So I don't know. spider web right there. I'm going to set this to 3 right? Yeah. Let me set that to 2. It's like the biggest spider web ever. And go back to my paintbrush and I can place this in a couple other areas. This one right there. guys <coughs> so we're gonna have some hanging skeletons in our game Let's see. 
Soundcloud, this is Kaylani. From first play to first platinum, Man, find your fans first on SoundCloud. What are you waiting for? Start uploading today. Let me see something. I think I have a, some more um, assets that I'd like to see if I can add in. I'm just wondering if I have them in a sprite. Is this the other one? Hmm. Interesting. I don't know where I put them. I had more. <clears throat> okay, so that looks pretty good. So that's our foreground layer. So I'm just gonna actually switch to like my floor. And I'm gonna turn off my foreground elements. And then I'm gonna turn on my vegetation. So let's go to my vegetation layer. And what do I see? Vegetation is behind it, and it is. Yes. Good. So let's go back to the tile map. These are more like singular ones that I added for areas that do have like a breakup of uh, <clears throat> grass and stuff. So let's add these here and then we'll come back and add something else. Bushes right here.
this here. Looking good. I like it. Okay, man. We hit this solid brick area. And then let's go ahead and bring back our vegetation. Foreground elements on these this bridge. <clears throat> Let me get a chance. Okay, that's good. I like that. And then, um, do I need vegetation anywhere else? I don't think so. I think I should be good. Save button, just in case. Uh, let's see. Man, oh, I'm so excited. We're making a lot of progress here. All right, let me turn off my vegetation. I'll turn on my foreground elements. And let's focus in on that. So I think what I want to do is add these gigantic boxes set it uh, three no uh, 2.5 by 2.5 okay and then I'm going to grab that and paste it on over here as well and then, uh, let's see. In my foreground elements... I know I put a castle wall here. I don't see it anymore, though. What's up, SoundCloud? I don't know where this it went. Kaylani. From first play so... to first play, find your fans first on SoundCloud. What are you waiting for? Start uploading today. How does this feel? How are we looking here? I think we're looking pretty good. <clears throat> so set this back to none.
Very cool. Alright. So we've got foreground elements, we got vegetation. Now let's turn on columns. And I want to see where my columns reside. So show me columns. There we go. And let's go ahead and get rid of them. Goodbye. go so we got those columns running across actually you know I was just thinking let me make sure this column is absolutely perfect I think I need to bring the position down a little bit and if I go to none Order layer. Twenty four, twenty two, twenty one, twenty two, twenty one. Let's call it twenty four. Black overlay is twenty nine. Let's do floor at twenty five. I'll do columns at twenty four. That way, the columns sit behind the floor. So now, I should be able to just paint these in. Yes. This right here. I'm gonna do a lot of columns in this area. Let me see, do those go behind? Yep. Tile map. So let's go ahead and select these. We're going to move our position up just a little bit. Something. Um, let me bring. Actually, let me shift click this, and I'm going to bring this back to here. Then I'm going to select these. Make sure that the scale is adjusted just slightly. So check this out. Now
there, and there, there, there. to place the caps. So, boop. What's up, SoundCloud? This is Kaylani. From first play to first platinum, find your fans first on SoundCloud. What are you waiting for? All Start right. up again today. Looking, yes. Yeah, do. Um, let's delete this. Columns are done. Oh, on that floor. <laughs> Not yet. Um, let's see. There we go. There we go. And that leads us outside. Good stuff. All right. Man, we've made some progress today. Oh. All right, I am beat, but man, look at our progress. We have an actual level. Now we just need to fill in the background with stuff. And guys, we're done. We're like, well, not done, but once we fill in the background, then all John and I need to do is finish this end part. We need to finish the enemy AI, the boss AI, and then we're set oh man I'm excited all right well, I think I'm gonna call it a day it's been fun I love working online I really do I love working online um, I love it that you guys are just kind of keeping us in the background kind of listening in when you want to um, that's awesome that's really awesome uh, we're making good progress in our game Oh, we're so excited about this. It's really, really good. Anyway, guys, um, yeah, I think I'm going to turn out for right now. But thank you for tuning in. And uh, the more that I develop this level, the more I will share it with you. Um, I think John will be on probably tomorrow, and then we'll see who's going to be on again. But we're just going to keep plugging away. So if John's on, he's going to work on the finishing out the menu system. If I'm on, it's going to be finishing out this level design. So kind of go from it from there. All right, guys? Well, thank you again. 
Thank you for stopping by, and uh, I'll talk to you soon.